Hi guys, Kaylee here. Um, last week I managed to figure out how to use Excel SMS. I'm very, very happy. <laughs> it took me a really long time and I know that a lot of you guys have been struggling with it as well. So I'm making this quick video to hopefully help you guys learn how to use it also. And once you do know how, it's it's very easy, it's very simple. Um, but yeah, we've there's just a few key things that you've got to get right. So I found this website here that actually really helped me a lot. And I contacted or contact the guy himself who created the app. I think his name is Sam. And he was actually really, really helpful. So that's another option as well. If you've watched this video and you still can't get it, maybe contact the guy who created the app. He's really, really great. And he'll kind of stick with you until until you get there. So, um, which was my experience. <laughs> Very frustrated last week. All right, so um, there's lots of different things that Excel SMS can do actually, but I'm gonna show you what I've learned how to do and what I use and what I think you guys will use as well. I think it's probably the most basic function and that is sending a bulk text um, from your phone uh, after importing a database through Wi-Fi off your computer. So off a spreadsheet, uh, an Excel spreadsheet from your computer, importing that over Wi-Fi. So I'll show you how to do that. Now I'm gonna assume you've already downloaded the app. I'm not gonna go take you through all of that. I'm assuming you've downloaded the app and you've already got it on your phone. Um, so let's get into it. Now the most important thing and where I was going wrong was the spreadsheet format. Um, which seems really simple, but there's just, there's a little bit of an art to what your spreadsheet needs to look like. So I'm just gonna pull up a basic spreadsheet here, which I have just whipped up for you. And you can um, import spreadsheets, you can import CVS files, you know, you could be pulling in from Infusionsoft or another email database that you have, you know, importing the, or exporting the phone numbers that you've collected onto spreadsheets could be from an Eventbrite event that you've done or from other lead generation sources, um, or you can hand type them in as well. So if you've got a lead box and people have written in their names and numbers, you can hand type them in as I have done. Now the only required field for Excel SMS is actually the mobile number. Okay, but I've kept it all in because it doesn't matter if there's excess information on there, um, Excel spreadsheet will ignore it, so don't even worry about that. Um, it can be handy to have people's emails there in case you do want to do an email drive further down the track. Um, but for now, we're just going to use their mobile number and also their first name. So I'll show you how to set, send a generic text um, that we can send out to thousands and thousands of people at a time and it won't have uh, their name on it. Or I can show you how to send a personalized text where it will have their first name or even their last name. And there are other fields that you can include, but today we're just going to stick with first name and then sort of using that idea, you can kind of figure out how to do other things as well. If there are specific things that you want to learn after this tutorial, just leave a comment and I might make further videos if, um, if you find it useful. So this is sort of the raw um, spreadsheet that I've, you know, let's say imported. Um, and we need to make a few changes already. So I'm just gonna click on this first lot here and I'm gonna insert two extra rows above that and this column here and I'm gonna insert an extra column there as well. So what I didn't realize before um, I figured it out is that you actually, you don't need to but, or well, maybe you do need to, but you can include your message on your spreadsheet and I do suggest that you do this. You can then change your message once it's in SL, uh, Excel SMS, um, but you wanna have it on this spreadsheet as well. So in this, um, this cell here, you need to say message and you need to spell it right as well because Excel SMS is obviously picking up different, what the different cells say and then it knows to use that as your message, um, if that makes sense. So here for the message, I'm saying, hey, I can't wait to see you for the blah, blah, blah event tomorrow. Please be sure to arrive by blah, blah, blah at blah, blah. See you then, Kaylee smiley face. So that's the message I'm gonna send out to these people. 
um, you know, you'd put a bit more effort in there, be a bit more specific, but that's fine for now. And then just under that, I'm writing two. So it's got to be in this column here and Excel SMS will know that the information that is sort of here in relation to the two is where it's going to be sending, um, sending the messages. So first name we are going to be using, last name is irrelevant, email is irrelevant, mobile number we are going to be using. Now Excel SMS actually looks for the term mobile, so I'm going to delete number because otherwise it won't know that that's the numbers that you want to use. So it's got to be called mobile. And then in order to get to the people, the numbers have to be right. And if you're in Australia, then you need to pay particular attention to this. If you're in America or the UK where your numbers don't start with a zero, then you won't have any problems here. But in Australia, our phone numbers, our mobile numbers start with a zero and spreadsheets don't um, don't like zeros at the front of numbers because it's not a real number. Um, it doesn't mean anything as far as the number goes. So it gets rid of them. So if you have imported a list of number numbers, you'll find the zeros have, uh, go, have gone missing. So for example, this number here, the zero has gone missing at the beginning. And it's really important that we put that zero back on there. And to make sure the zero stays there, we have to put a little single apostrophe and then the zero and that will magically turn into a number that can be used. For numbers that have the area code, to be sure, get rid of the area code, single apostrophe zero. For numbers that have the zero but also have spaces, I also just get number get rid of these spaces quickly, and that's a number that can be used. And then if it's a number that you know is not a mobile number, or it's an incorrect mobile number, there might be a number missing. It's, it's normally pretty easy to tell um, if, it is, if it looks like the other numbers or not. You just wanna delete it because you know that this person is not going to receive this message anyway. And if you're sending the bulk text that goes to everyone, if one number is wrong in that batch, the whole batch will not be sent. So it's really important that there are no wrong numbers so no incomplete numbers and no home numbers so this looks like a home number I could delete it or I could create a column next door called home numbers just so I have it for future reference in case I want to call this database down the down the track but for today I'm going to get rid of that don't have to worry about getting rid of anything else it's just what's in the mobile column um, there so if there's nothing there then that's fine Okay, so that's looking pretty good. The spreadsheet is looking pretty good. This is the format that you need for the purpose that we're using it for. Um, and so now we're going to use it. And for it to be used by Excel SMS, it actually has to be in an XLS file format, which is an older file format. So you'll find if your computer or your Excel, your Microsoft, is from 2004 or later, which it most likely is, um, you'll be automatically be using Excel <laughs> XLSX. So we need to save it as the older file version. So I'm going to file, save as. I'm going to call it blah, blah, <laughs> keeping with our theme. And we're going to save it as the XLS workbook because it has to be in that file format for Excel SMS to read it. <clears throat> okay, so we've got that there. Now, although I have mastered the um, Excel SMS app, I haven't mastered the art of fancy video editing. So I'm not going to cut now to a shot of me um, using my phone, because that's too hard, but I'm going to tell you what I'm doing on my phone. Okay, so I'm opening up the Excel SMS app on my phone. And you'll see that there are three options at the bottom of the app once it's open. We've got files, contacts, or settings, and I'm in files. Now on the top right-hand corner of the files section, it says Wi-Fi, and I'm going to hit Wi-Fi. And it gives me an address to type into the browser of my computer. So I am going to do that. <clears throat> I've got a new tab, and it is 10 point, this is the one here. Okay, so this will be different for everybody. So you just go to whatever your app tells you to do. 
and it will slowly open that up for you. Actually, that's not right. Turn. Nope. 34, that's it. Okay, so it comes up with this page. Please select a file to upload. So I'm browsing. I'm going to find my blah, blah. I'm opening and I'm going to press upload. And it automatically comes up onto my phone. Now, another thing to note when going through that process is that you have to have enabled the Wi-Fi on your phone. So your phone has to be using Wi-Fi which makes sense because we're using Wi-Fi to transfer the file. So just some people might not realize that. It'll tell you as well, but just so you know. Okay, so I've got the blah, blah up on my phone now and I'm going to go back to files. So it's files arrow, which is the top left-hand button and it's got a list of all my files and the blah, blah is at the top. So I'm going to click on blah, blah and it comes up with group SMS message. Hey, I can't wait to see you for the blah, blah, blah event tomorrow. Please be sure to arrive by blah, 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 blah. See you then, smiley face Kaylee. And it's got a list of all the recipients down there. Now at the bottom right hand corner, there's a little paper airplane symbol. I'm gonna click on that, that's the send. It says how to send and I'm selecting local, send messages from my phone. And it actually brings my message up in my, normal message app on my phone. So what I would normally write messages through, it comes up in there. So it's got the phone numbers in the to section and it's got the message already typed into the message section and I just click send and it will send that out to all of those people all at once. So it's as easy as that. Now there is a limit on how many people you can send to and that is dependent on the settings in your Excel SMS. You can change that. And it's also dependent on the type of phone that you have. Okay, so you might want to check with the type of phone you have. Although I believe that the latest iPhones can send five or 600 at a time. So it's a fair amount. Like it's, it's not going to take you all day. Okay, so that's how to send the really generic, um, the generic version there. Now we can change the message that we use in the app, but I'm going to show you also how to change it here back on the original file. Okay, so I'm going back here. Now I want to send the message and I want it to be personalized. So I want it to have their first name on the message. So I'm going back into the message and I'm just going to put in squiggly bracket first name, close squiggly bracket. I might put that before the comma. There we go. I can't wait to blah, blah, blah. So that's in there. Um, and what Excel SMS will do is it will pick up the first name of each person it sends to. So it'll say, hey, Bob, I can't wait to see you. The next message will say, hey, Sally, and so on and so on. So that's a great little tool to um, to use there. Just because it is nice to send a personalized message. Um, so I'm going to go through the same process now. I'm going to save this worksheet. I'm going to go back to my phone and hit Wi-Fi. You have to be on the Wi-Fi page to be able to upload. It kind of it makes sense when you think about it, but I tried doing it just on my computer and wondering why it wasn't going through. <laughs> I've made all the mistakes, trust me. <laughs> So I've got the Wi-Fi page open up on my phone again. I've got the Wi-Fi page up open up on my computer again. I'm browsing. I'm selecting the blah, blah. I'm opening the blah, blah, and I'm uploading the blah, blah, and it's come up immediately I'm going on my, on my phone. So I'm going back into my files, my list of files on my phone. I'm clicking the most recent version, and on my phone in the message section, it has the brackets first name within that message, which is great. Again, I'm going to go to the paper airplane symbol at the bottom right hand corner to send. I'm going to send local messages. And it comes up a little bit differently in your messages when you're sending personalized. So this is something to take into consideration because 
You do have to send them individually when you are sending them personalized. So it's something to take into consideration in terms of time. Um, but it is worth it, I think, um, for most for most messages. So it says two and it's only got one number there. And then within the message, it says, hey, Bob. So I can't wait to see you, blah, blah, blah. So it's it's sending it to one number. It's Bob's number. Bob's name's in that message. I'm going to hit send and off it goes. It takes three seconds or so to send and then it brings up the next person's name. Hey, Sally or whoever it was, um, blah, blah, blah. You hit send. Three seconds later, send. Three seconds later, send. And you go through your entire list until everyone's been sent their message. And that's it. So as I said before, if you do have problems, um, you can contact Mr. Sam app himself. Um, I will leave uh, some resources for you in the, I think, the about section of this video. So I'll leave a, a, um, a template of a spreadsheet that works <laughs> as well as details on how to contact the developer of the app as well. So I really hope this has helped you guys. Um, if it has, let me know. If it hasn't, let me know. And if you do want future videos that go a little bit more in depth with more of the functions that this app can, can do, then also let me know. Thank you. Bye for now.